Catherine or Mrs. Cronall and welcome along to day one of my 12 days of Christmas. Today I'm looking at one colour but that has been spread out over the last 12 months. Uh, every day from now until Christmas Eve you can expect a video from me and it's all going to be themed along the 12 days of Christmas, that song. Now technically I know the 12 days of Christmas is actually the period after Christmas all the way up to what we in Ireland call a little Christmas, January the 6th, but I've decided to give you 12 days before Christmas. Well, there you go. So I'm going to show you all of my purples that I did for Instagram. I came up with this back in January, I guess, the 12th, uh, sorry, the purple of the month um, collab that I did with Julie, who is amazing and who is linked down below. Please go and check out her Instagram feed. I lost my breath there. Please go and check out her Instagram feed or you can even just go to the hashtag purple of the month and you'll see the different purples that we used over the year. Uh, it was the second Wednesday of every month. I think I messed up uh, one of the Wednesdays because I'm an Egypt, but it was the second Wednesday of every month. So yeah, I'm gonna show you all of the purples and you can see my manicures right here. Um, so the first one that I uh, did was back in January and it's this one from Picture Polish and it definitely is the darkest of the purples that I looked at this year. This is Big Bang and it is a really, really dark aubergine coloured purple with big holographic glitters, uh, multichrome flakies and then a tiny little um, holographic uh, shimmer in there as well. Actually, I lie, there's no holographic glitters, just that shimmer and then the multichrome flakies. Beautiful polish. Then in February, the snow was still thick on the ground and my nails were a lot shorter and I went for this one from OPI. This is do you have this colour in Stockholm? And um, very popular OPI, I still haven't cleaned it off. I got it in TK Maxx, I still haven't cleaned that sticker off. I know, lazy, lazy, lazy. One of my favourite polishes of all time is Scarce from Illamasqua. And I finally got my hands on Speckle, which is the purple version of Scarce. It's a very, very light, um, almost lavender colour. I always get mixed up between lilac and lavender, but I think this is lavender. You can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. And it's got this large black hex glitter in it, a matte uh, black hex glitter, and a tiny, tiny little um, matte uh, black, it's not a shimmer, but a little tiny micro glitter in there as well. So this is speckle and it's just really, really nice. And this was my purple of the month for March. So next up is April, giving a bit of a shake. I've used this polish quite a bit. This is Zoya's Serenity. It's just this beautiful spring kind of purple. Well, what I would consider a good spring color and it's beautiful formula. Love this polish. And this is Serenity. A new collection came out in May or just towards the end of April and I decided to use one of the polishes from that. It was the Rita Ora collaboration with Manhattan. This is Pump Up the Purple. It's not quite a neon, but it gives that kind of neon purple effect. It's not the best polish in the world, but I did enjoy wearing it and yeah, perfect for the summer months I felt. So this is Pump Up the Purple. And then we had a few from Caddy Lacquer, let's be fair. I bought a lot of Caddy Lacquer this year. And two, I believe they're two from the same collection. I believe both of the purples that I'm gonna be showing you over the, the summer months were from the Shameless collection. And the first up was the F Word, which was just one of my favorite polishes from the year. It's just this beautiful blue toned purple with a metallic blue square glitter, a tiny micro circle blue square, blue glitter, circle glitter, a matte black square glitter, and then a matte micro glitter in there as well. And just so unusual, a really, really beautiful polish. So that is Caddy Lacquer's The F Word. And I think I'm right in saying that the July purple of the month also fell on my birthday and 
I actually bought this for myself for my birthday, so I decided to use it as my purple of the month. I was going to wear Aurora from Zoya, which is one of my favorite purples, but I decided to go with this because it was a treat. It's my only NARS polish, and I think it's a Stephen Klein collaboration. I don't know if that's just, his name is just on it, or if it was a collaboration, I think it was though. And this is called Night Creature, and it's a shimmery kind of metallic purple, and really, really pretty, loved that Manny. I enjoyed wearing that for my birthday. You know, you have to treat yourself for your birthday, don't you? Okay, and then in August, this purple blew me away. I did a Caddy Lacquered on Trides week or 10 days in August, and so this was in that. This is such an unusual polish. It's a really shimmery purple, lighter kind of red toned purple, and it has this bluish kind of sheen to it as well, but it also has a holographic glitter in there, if I'm remembering correctly, yep. Very, very micro, micro uh, shimmer, I should say, not glitter. And then it has the multi-chrome or duochrome flakies in a purple, copper, and then a darker kind of reddish magenta color. Uh, I'm not really describing it very well, but on the nails, boy oh boy, did this look good. And this is a night to remember, wait what? And I believe that was from the Shameless Collection as well. Beautiful polish, blew me away. Maybe my favorite purple of the year, actually. Although, in saying that, and I think this is the one that I messed up with, I posted it a week early. In saying that, this purple also blew me away this year. This was brand new. This is Midnight Sky, number 103 from the Essence Gel Line range. It is purple, but there is a ton of blue shimmer in there that makes it look blue on your nails, but it definitely, definitely, definitely is purple. And I think in my ring light, it's looking exactly like it would on your nail, if it focuses. So you can see that blue shimmer in there. Stunning polish, really, really beautiful. And then I got blown away by another new polish in uh, what month am I on now? So is that right? October. And this one I, uh, so that Essence one was for September and this one is October. This was a new one to me in October. This is from Lacaster, which is an indie brand and this is their One Coat Purple. The One Coat Wonder is what it's called, One Coat Wonder Purple. And I did actually some stamping with this just to kind of change up the purple of the month uh, format. I did stamping with this, it's stunning purple, beautiful and great for stamping and great in one coat. So that was October. Then I went all out with the glitter in November. We're getting back into glitzy season and this took three coats, but man, was it worth it. And this is from Lottie and I, Lottie London, and it's called Playlist. Super, super, super glittery. Look at that. I think this is gonna be getting another outing over the Christmas season. I loved this so much and that is my November polish. And then finally, uh, the last polish is bringing together a year of wonderful friendships that I've made um, here on YouTube. Not just this year, but I definitely think I've gotten to know people a bit more this year and we made more connections this year, like with Nika and Margaret and Jules and Helen and Lee Sinclair, obviously, and I asked Lee Sinclair if I needed this polish, and they said I did. I know it's one of Claire's favourites, it's definitely one of her favourite brands. This is A England, and it's Crown of Thistle, Thistles, and I thought ending the year on a high with a purple holographic like this was the best way to do it, and it is stunning. And that is A, Engel, a England Crown of Thistles, and it's beautiful, so thank you, Lisa, for recommending it. And thank you, Jules, for taking part in this. It's been great seeing your purples. I mean, your nail polish knowledge and collection is a source of great envy in me, if I'm honest. I hope to see you back here for the next 11 days on my channel. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments if you have any favorite purples that you think I would like. I'd love to hear your ideas. So thanks, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.